because you're making a point that you can shack and still not sin. Doesn't apply to anything you just said. Okay, well, let's go to this again. How can a man, how, how can a man take fire in his bosom and not get burned? Let's talk about uh, the preachers of LA, okay? These guys have influence, okay? They have an influence. So it's worth it for us to discuss. So now I'm going to play this clip, then I'll be stopping it along the way, okay? So this you have uh, Dietrich Hardon, Bishop Noel. Oh, fun fact, Bishop Noel Jones, he's a brother to Grace Jones, the actress. So if you can see, they actually do look alike. I'm like, oh, okay, who knew? All right, so let's uh, dive into it, and then we'll, we'll talk more about it. Okay, here we go. Sure, he is very busy, and, and we, we bless you, sir. Right. But I wanted to see you here. Um, the Brotherhood is here. Okay. Miss Kim, uh, good yes, to meet sir. you. Now, uh, good to meet Looking you. Looking beautiful as ever. Really Thank you. I love, I love your look. I love that you, 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 you don't look like a traditional pastor. You come with your own style. Oh, no, I'm not traditional. No, you... I'm foundational, though. That's good. Okay, but do you consider yourself the bad boy of the gospel. No, I'm, I'm probably the nicest one out of all this group right here. What, nice? Listen, I'm, listen I'm, you have many I'm nice, like you have many nice bad boys. Yes, sir. Okay. You got in fact, some of the baddest yeah. boys in the world are nice. Boy. You were arguing <laughs> with him at the, at the dinner. That was McClendon. He was no, arguing no, with us. No, no, he was, no, no, he was, was arguing with me. He, at dinner, oh, what, you remember? With he and Dominique. Boom, yeah. When they were shacking. See, no. here we go. Right, okay. that part, that's what we were talking about. When you but and I was trying to tell him back then. He said shacking is not the Bible. Is, no, shacking is not the issue. You want to deal with the issue. The fornication is the issue, not the shacking. Because the cool. shacking was really the old belief oh, of the underplay. That's what you really wanted to know. Oh. And I would have told you, yes, I've had sex. You've had sex. We all had sex. At the time, I was struggling in that area. Okay. He's a young man. But, and I had a baby to show for it on the show. Yes, I and saw so, the child. You know, since then, I've, I've, I've married my beautiful wife. But now we've just celebrated 10 years. Fantastic. Wow. Let's talk about that. All the wonderful things that have taken place within the 10 years. That's right. The mm -hmm. issue was really the sex issue. But see, when he mentioned that on the show, that thing followed me for the last 10 years. You shacking? So, Dietrich hadn't said shacking is okay. I never said shacking was okay. Okay. I'm that came saying. from him. But, he but, brought you, that but, but now you're being contradictory. No, 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 no. That's what I thought. Dietrich Harden, right? He is testifying with his own mouth that during that time, he, wa he wasn't shacking up with, uh, with his girlfriend. Whether they were shacking or not, who cares? The issue is he was having a sex outside of marriage. Not only that, he admits that was his struggle. The scripture is clear, okay? If you, if you are burning with passions, it is better for you to marry than to be sinning. So this guy decided that it was okay for him to sin instead of to marry, so much so that the woman got pregnant. So even when they were getting married, the woman was already pregnant. So this was the second time where Dritik Harden was having, uh, uh, you know, this was his second marriage, right? But his first marriage, it was him who ruined everything. So instead of reconciling with his first wife, people don't believe in reconciling with their first wives anymore. They just want to switch, go to another woman, right? But the scripture actually says you need to go reconcile with your first wife, okay? Especially it was him who was in the wrong. No, they just go and find a new wife. And they excuse living promiscuously, committing this adultery, and they think that it's okay. Like, no, it's not okay. The scripture speaks against that, okay? Um, First Corinthians 6, right? Actually say, free from sexual immorality. So, but these people are in the church, right? Gospel artists and a preacher and a PK for that matter. Then what message do we have for Jennifer Lopez? Hmm? Because you're making a point that you can shack and still not sin. How many of us, and, and, and he's been divorced, I have been divorced. Okay. I've been divorced. You've been divorced. And you've been divorced. I've never been married. Okay, cool. And my marriage I, is still in force. I never thought in my life that I could be in bed with a woman and never want to touch her. Because it was fire in your bosom. No. No. Uh, it's because you don't want to touch her. You don't want to touch her. You don't want to touch her. The relationship had deteriorated mm -hmm. to the point that even in a marriage. You're talking about his wife, first wife. Even yes. in a marriage, you didn't, you didn't want, want to go to bed. Right. Well, Kim, that's a good question, okay? And I have a good answer. And a good answer is a God answer. I'm not just talking about an answer. Bishop Noah Jones is an icon. I know he talks about the iconoclastic and all those big words that you shouldn't put a preacher on a pedestal and make him so iconoclastic. Remember that? But he's, he's articulate like that. But when you are a preacher, a general in the faith, like Bishop Noah Jones is, then you have a lot of young men that are watching him 
he's mentoring a lot of young men. So it came to my mind, since he has so many young men gravitating to him and want to be like him, be a mentor and not a tormentor. Mm -hmm. Tormenting them in the sense of making them think it's okay to date a queen like Loretta, mm -hmm. who he was dating. One of the most beautiful ladies outside of my wife mm -hmm. in the world today, okay? And it didn't look good, especially after he revealed that he was dating her for 14 years. The Bible says, not Ron Gibson, not Dietrich Hatton, not Wayne Cheney, not Bishop Noel Jones. The Bible says that don't let your good be evil spoken of. That's totally out of context, that one. That scripture doesn't apply to anything you just said. Okay, well, let's go to this again. How can a man, how, how can a man take fire in his bosom and not get burned? How can you have a beautiful lady like that? But they were friends. What my understanding, and, and, and I didn't and, know one of them. No, no, they were more than friends because, because Loretta said on the show, if you recall, yes. she wanted to marry Bishop Jones. After she said she didn't want to. Oh. But then she recanted and said, I do so she want to marry. And so when you're in a relationship like that, it just doesn't look good for young men that are aspiring to be ministers like, like Bishop Jones. Right, but, but why did it bother you so much? You were passionate about this, because I'm gonna be honest with you. If this man ain't ready to marry me, I don't want him to marry me, because we're gonna have more than fire in my bosom. <laughs> I'm gonna have fire on the stove. That's a good point, Kim. Yeah. <laughs> See, one of, one of the things that Ron has not accounted for in a okay. relationship with Loretta is that Loretta is a very independent, very strong uh, woman. Okay. I didn't want okay. a quiet, uh, passive right. woman who I could control. Who? Yeah, well, well, uh, I, on, wanted a woman, I wanted a woman who was equal. Never came up as what the point he made, and we didn't know that then. I don't think right. the world knew it, that he had proposed before. That's true. That's we didn't true. know that. You're exactly right. And her hello, hello. Okay, so, as you can see, this is Pastor Noel Jones, okay? So all these, uh, these are no pastors, okay? They are preachers. He said that he went out with a girlfriend, I mean, like, for 14 years, okay? First of all, as a pastor, what are you doing having a girlfriend for 14 years? And to me, I'm like, okay, you as a woman, for 14 years as a girlfriend? I mean, at that point, it's just like, no, forget about it. But anyway, Loretta waited, okay? After that, and they ended up, they got married. But Noah Jones was married before, okay? And then when uh, Ron, Ron is the one, only one who has never been uh, divorced. He's still married to his wife. He's saying that, oh, can a man carry fire to the bosom and not get burned, right? So he's concerned, like, okay, the scripture that you're using is not in context, but... Even if somebody doesn't, whether the scripture is out of context or not, like, does it make sense for somebody to be a, a single pastor and dating a woman for 14 years? I mean, what is that? But these guys, they do not hold the scriptures seriously, but they want to accommodate everything else they want. And then he went on to say, like, oh, he didn't want to marry a woman who is passive. Why would you want to marry a woman who is passive? Okay. Yeah, you are a man. You're supposed to lead. Right? Like, and he said you wanted to marry a woman who is strong and independent. Like, why? You see what I'm saying? So, you are actually, you know, you want to marry, like, why do you want that? To me, it just didn't make any sense, right? Him being a pastor, be like, okay, I want to marry a godly woman. I want to marry a prophet, said one woman, right? Like, okay, so if for 14 years, at what point did you find out that Loretta was this independent, strong woman and everything else? So I don't get it. To me, I think he just realized, you know what, I'm getting old. I need somebody to take care of me in my old age. Let me marry this person. Because, like, I mean, 14 years? And, I mean, what type of courtship is that? What type of courtship is that? So mm, very s suspicious with his, uh, uh, with how uh, he's, he's looking at the scriptures here. Okay? <laughs> so are you telling me that for 14 years, Bishop Noel and Loretta were just uh, brothers and sisters in Christ. Mm? But we continue to hear what they're saying. So you were tormenting Loretta? Now, did Bishop no, no, not at all. Loretta, no, Sister Loretta. Not at all. Right. Bishop, was his constant reminder that you have not gotten married, when you're going to get married, uh, did that get on your nerves? It didn't bother me one, one really? bit. Really? Oh, no, and I'm telling you why. Because when you have a certain amount of security, we, about who you are, and then when you understand the person who everybody's talking about in relationship to you getting married to her, mm -hmm. when you understand those dynamics, then you're not moved by it. I'm only moved by a sincere word from her, but she can't propose to me. I have to propose to her. Facts. Amen. 
and, and that's the whole point. And she can't rush the process. Or she Russians, can't, 14 or, years. Or she can't slow the process. Are you talking about a nationality or reality? You, you, you Russian or Russian? See, as a single pastor, mm -hmm. for someone who waited 14 years and yes, someone sir. who, again, said he should have done it the moment that she signified the intention. I didn't say that. How, how long should a pastor wait? It depends. It's collecting data. And you got to wait as long. <laughs> I want to know how long. Can I answer long, that? Very succinctly. Sure. Dating is a derivative from the word data, okay. where you get information. When you date a person, they don't show you their character. They show you their personality. It took me 14 years to collect data. Oh, oh that's man. All that was, okay. Oh, Lord. By his own definition. That's Lord, as long day. as it took. Do you know where fornicators go? Do you have yeah. something personal with Loretta? I think oh, under the thank surface, you. Thank he you admires me. Loretta. That's not under the surface. I do. He I admire, but I don't desire. But, but I'm a beautiful wife myself. I've noticed this. There is no admire without some modicum of desire. There is no admire. Yes, sir. Without a modicum okay. of desire. What's what's modicum? Modicum? What's Let me bring this. Can you huh? jump in, please? <laughs> <laughs> right, I got to You figure it out. <laughs> I just jump in. What they put in this? I need to hear your thoughts. Ron you need to about. know mm -hmm. desire. Mr. Mm -hmm. Ron Gibson need to know that marriage is not the solution to everybody's lust problem. I never said that is. What but you're saying? Well, you're you're the saying that marriage your preacher is better to marry than to burn. Yeah, but that's that we've used that to get these young people and, and in marriages, and, and, and when they get in it, it's times. a mess. That's true. That you it's better. That's to, why the divorce rate is at all time high within the church because of that kind of teaching. It's better to come. I'm a victim of that. When when Bishop got married, they were wailing and crying. I'm sorry, they were. They were Okay, so notice, okay, we have um, Bishop Noah Jones. For 14 years, he was collecting data. I mean, we know that's a lie, okay? It should not take you 14 years to find out if that's a woman you want to be with for the rest of your life, okay? He, that, that, that's just a lie. And he went on to say, but you know, accuse whatever wrong. Like, no, you can, you know, you can admire somebody without having anything else. Unless if he has evidence to the contrary, but I doubt because I don't think, you know, Ron is type of like he's like old school type of guy. But, you know, who knows whatever the dynamics they have. Right. But I don't believe that is I don't believe that to be true, in my opinion. Derek Hardo now. He's in, he is there contradicting with the scriptures, okay? He's blaming the scripture. <laughs> he is blaming the scripture that uh, these are the principles that we've taught young men, that it is better for them to marry, and as a result, we are having a high rate of divorce. No, 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 no. The Bible says as much, okay? If you know that you can control your passions, by all means, control your passions. But if you cannot control your passions, it is better for you to marry. That's what the scripture teaches. So if young men are out there, they cannot control their passions and they desire to marry, it is a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And then you cannot excuse that you divorce somebody because you, like, what is that? Like, no, that's, that's not an excuse at all, okay? So... People need to learn the dangers of divorce, okay? People need, people need to learn, like, you know, how to be a young man, how to pursue a woman, how to be a godly man, how to be a godly woman, okay? People need to learn just to be, not, you know, not to be sick in those relationships at that age. Like, you know, look for the, like, okay, this is what you desire, but, you know, these, you can partake this when you guys get married. But because we've made sex so cheap, so nothing, that it has lost its meaning, it's no longer sacred anymore, then you have people like Dietrich Harden say like, oh, you know, I was in the church, I was forced to marry, that's why I ended up getting a divorce. No, but you got a divorce, you're busy messing around. You just didn't get a divorce for whatever, you know what I mean, for whatever the reason. So it's unfortunate that... He doesn't even believe in the scriptures. So what exactly is Dedrick Harden going to tell you? What counsel is Dedrick Harden going to give you? Huh? Because he thinks that it's okay. People can divorce for whatever the reason. Right? For whatever the reason. <laughs> no, man. It should not be so.